In this video, we're going to take a look at something called collision theory. The collision theory is similar to the kinetic molecular theory of gases. Remember that when we looked at um, gases like on the particle level? So the collision theory is similar in the sense that it attempts to explain um, how reactions are proceeding at the particle level. It's almost like if we looked at reactants and products under a microscope, what we might see. In order for a reaction to occur, molecules must do these three things. First of all, they have to collide with each other. We call that collision frequency. So they have to um, just simply physically bump into each other. And how often they bump into each other, um, we just call that collision frequency. They have to collide with sufficient energy to break bonds. We call that activation energy. And they have to collide in a proper orientation. They have to collide in such a way that leads to the rearrangement of atoms. So when molecules collide, they have to be oriented properly. So in the next slide, we're going to take a look at frequency, activation energy, and orientation. So let's say we have nitrogen dioxide, and it's reacting with carbon monoxide. And it's making these two products, nitrogen monoxide and carbon dioxide. So essentially what's happening here is one of the oxygens from this molecule is being transferred to this molecule. So now this molecule, instead of having two oxygens, only has one. And carbon monoxide, instead of having one oxygen, has two oxygens. So here's a cartoon drawing of that. So remember, um, one of these oxygens will get transferred to carbon monoxide. So remember, they have to collide. So they need to collide um, with some degree of frequency. They have to collide with enough energy, and they have to be oriented properly. It looks like in this case, um, they are oriented properly. And that oxygen here, well, it's able to slide over um, and bond with this carbon to make carbon dioxide. So in this next scenario, it looks like um, they're colliding with one another, but the orientation is not correct. So does that, that does not produce um, a productive collision. There's no reaction that takes place there. And we'll revisit the idea of frequency, activation, energy, and orientation again soon.